Hey guys, this is part two of a match between Wonkman and Paul. Please click anywhere on the screen to go back to part one if you missed it. And if not, let's continue. Um, looks like he's gonna go for his his expand as well. So this is what he's, so this is a really good idea. This is something that a lot of pros talk about. Whenever you're not using your units, for example, those units weren't being used up here. It's really smart to take them down here and let's just take out some rocks. Because you saw those rocks are already wounded. They're already in the red. Which means that he's already been working on them when he hasn't been using those for anything. Same time, it looks like Wonkman is also going to take out these rocks. A little bit behind, but he already has his natural here. And so he's going to have two expansions while Paul is still working on his second. Or his first expansion. Uh, worker count, 30 probes to 21 SCVs. 10 stalkers against... Oh, 12 stalkers on top of 8 marauders, 2 ghosts. Um, that's pretty... Those are pretty even teams. Look, they're looking pretty good. Wonkman putting up a robotics facility. Uh, might go for the Colossus, might go for the uh, Immortal, take out the uh, the Marauders, There's a couple ways he could go. Maybe just to get the Observer, just to see what's going on. Uh, looks like he's going to move in with a bunch of Stalkers here. Is that all 12 of his Stalkers? It is. It's all 12 of his Stalkers going to move in. Get scared away by the Bunker. Um, that's okay. Even though there's only one Marauder there, there's a whole bunch of stuff right behind it. And so it's probably better. I don't know if I would have pulled back all the way. You could pull back to the bottom of the ramp and secure this so that your opponent can't move out anytime soon. That's not a bad way to go, but it's also okay to pull all the way back and regroup the way he's doing. Up to 14 Stalkers now on top of 11 Marauders, 2 Ghosts. 36 Probes over 21 SCVs. Definitely going to start noticing a difference there. Let's check out the Income tab again. What's Income? I. I'm going to learn these hotkeys, I promise. Yeah, look at that. The Income is double. Uh, so Wonkman has double the Income of Paul. And that's really, really going to come into effect a little bit later on. And now, like I said before, um, but as we continue in the game, more and more so, it's going to become apparent who has the bigger Income. Because just look now. Let's look at the army size if we can. Oops, that's not where we want to go for army size. This one is army size. 68 over 55. Yeah, so Wong Clan just has a bigger army. Uh, Marauders, really, really strong though. Any upgrades yet? Yeah, we have plus one attack upgrade. Um, the ghosts are just going to start sniping away the stalkers, but the stalkers just, they're just too many. Oh, EMP going down the stalkers. Very strong, very good idea. The EMP from the ghost takes away the shields of the stalkers. That's very, very strong. And that really turned the tide of that match because you saw all the marauders were going away. Um, they were really dying quickly, and then EMP, boom, all the stalkers dead. He's so gonna pull off some probes up the line to keep going here. Oh, look at the army sizes, they really dwindled 36 to 36, and it was like 70 or something before. I can't remember the exact number. There's the observer from Long's Men. See, he's got these two marauders just, just going away on that nexus. But that's alright because he has another nexus down here. And that way, when he loses that, I mean, it's not like the greatest thing in the world, but it's not crippling to him when he loses that nexus. I'm um, still building workers out of it. Why not? Looks like he's got theirs. He's immortal. He's got a sentry, two stalkers. Gonna go ahead and take care of these two marauders that are just kind of annoying him. One shot. Boom. Those immortals are strong. Look, at, there's no upgrades yet for the Protoss player. He's not on the stalker, nothing like that. Yeah, there's no upgrades going on yet. Uh, warping in another stalker. And here's his observer, just taking a look around, just seeing what he sees. So he can see this expansion here. He sees the Ghost Academy. Let's see what upgrades he has in the barracks. He only has a slow, doesn't have any stim or anything like that. Looks like he's mainly going Marauders, there's a Marine, and Ghost. Um, oh, looks like the Observer sniped because these towers here can see Observers. They do reveal cloak units. Um, building a tech lab onto his starport. Oops! Someone's talking to me. I'm gonna pause it. Sorry about that, guys. Someone chatted me. I forgot to put myself in busy. Okay, so, anyways. So he's got the all doing this hoppy swap. So it looks like, <laughs> looks like he had the uh, the factory building the reactor, and then the starport building the tech lab, and then he switched them. Um, not a bad idea, because he probably started building the reactor once that factory finished, then started building the starport afterwards. Those reactors take such a long time to build. So looks like he's going to pump out double medvacs while he's going for another marauder, two more marauders. Um, surprise he doesn't have more barracks. If you look at his um, income up here, look like it's floating steadily around about 800 or so. Um, and he, of course, he would like to have that go a lot lower. Um, and he could do that if he had maybe one or two more barracks. Or well, here's another starport. That's a really good idea as well. Uh, let's check the workers. You, hoo -hoo, units is you. Okay, there we go. 44 probes over 36 SCVs. Yeah, that's just a lot. Um, so it looks like Wonk Man. Looks like he's got a bunch of stalkers, some immortals, some sentries. Those shields are growing back on that nexus. That's what's so great about those nexus is they just grow back their shields. And it's almost like they're never hit to begin with. Another nexus there. 
Not much happening. What's he doing here? Looks like he's warping in two more gateways. That'll give him four gateways and a cybernetic and a robotics facility. Pump out the Colossus there, and then we have the upgrade. We do. A little slow coming up. That's okay. Uh, that upgrade is crucial, crucial, crucial. Extending it by three uh, gives the Colossus a range of nine, which is amazing. There's some sort of a drop going on. Oh, dropping a bunch of Marauders here in the back of this of this natural expansion. Pull the probes away. This might get sniped. Let's see what happens. Because Wong Command's army is so far away. But here they come in. They're going to be able to take care of these guys. No problem. But then these men back, they're going to be able to run away. So let's see what happens here. Is he going to get it? No, he's going to run. He's going to have to back out of there before he loses everything. Well, he almost got this Nexus down. But he didn't. And he pushed on the front. Okay, so that, that was it. So he pushed back here. And now he's pushing up here in the front. Drawing the army, going back one way, then the other. He's going to snipe this one. He snipes that Nexus down. Now this, this Colossus is not in the best position. You want your Colossus behind your troops because you can get it there. That way your troops take the damage while your Colossus, how it is 9 range, just takes everything out. Yeah, that Colossus, ouch. Got a couple of mortals here to take care of the tanks. Um, force fields here, I'm assuming to help them escape. Um, and if you could take out that med back, that'd be awesome. But it looks like he destroyed that entire army. Protoss looks like he's really pushing back now. Got a pretty sizable army. Uh, let's check the army tab. Okay, yeah, so it looks like Protoss is at 89 over 90 and then... Um, Paul, the Terran player, is a 74 over 102. He's got a couple siege tanks, but they're really against those immortals. The siege tanks don't do anything against immortals. Immortals just rip them to shreds. Okay, it looks like Wonkman's pushing in here, and this might be the final push of the game. Let's see what happens. So they're pushing in. Man, those immortals, they just eat siege tanks. Ouch. Um, so there, here comes this push. Looks like Paul's forced to bring back his two medvacs full of marauders and a couple ghosts. Um, I'm not sure it's going to be enough in time. Let's see. Oh, they might be able to... Oh, that EMP is so strong. It turns these immortals into almost nothing. They're definitely not immortal after those EMPs. Uh, wow. Those are game-changing right there. Unbelievable how strong the EMP is. Um, the other Protoss player, I might be a little frustrated right now because I felt like I had the upper hand. But he was still able to snipe out one of the barracks. He was able to snipe out a bunch of stuff. Two Vikings coming in. Um... Uh, those Vikings will be able to shoot the Colossus, and that'll be really strong. Looks like, oh, well, looks like he's pushing out with a bunch of probes. I'm not sure. I guess maybe to, to distract his enemy. Uh, he's got, let's go to the units tab. He's got 49 probes, two zealots, four stalkers, three sentries. Um, probes might be there to draw fire. Um, because they do that, because, you know, units a lot of times will auto target the probes. Um, wow, that, that worked really well, actually. Yeah, so the probes just, just put a big mess into things because they're just all over the place. Um, oh, that Banshee's gonna grow. Ooh, that Banshee's gonna hurt. So it looks like these units, are they gonna be able to do it in time? Throw up the Guardian Shield. Good micro with that Stalker, pulling it back so it doesn't get killed. Probes, probes helping out, helping out as much as they can. Oh, wow. Ooh, ooh, there you go. The Banshee took out that last Stalker. Now nothing can shoot up. And it looks like Mwankwin's gonna go ahead and call the GG on this one. Um, yeah, that was that was a crazy game though. That was really interesting. Let's see let's see what this looks like at the end there. So he had looks like he had a Colossus. Where is the Colossus? I don't know where it is. Over here. There's the Colossus. Um, the Colossus was here. Probably gonna hop up on this cliff. Not sure it can. This cliff might be a little too tall. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, called the GG. <sighs> Must be because he pulled all of his workers up the line. Yeah, he was mined out, mined out, and no nexus there. It was going to be a pretty, pretty, pretty tough battle going back uphill after that one. Um, but that was pretty crazy. That was a pretty interesting game. Um, Paul comes out victorious, comes out on top, and he uh, got his Vikings there just in case of the Colossus. That's prob That might have been why Wonk would call that as well, because he saw the Vikings there take care of Colossus, and he just had nothing to take out this Banshee, and it was just going to start picking off his troops one by one. Anyways, that's another video from Fubsy Gamer. Thanks for watching, and it was nice to meet you.